Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today I'm here with a 2023 Ram Promaster van. This is a 2500 series and basically the Rams had a little facelift lately. Now it's the Promaster van but you can see the cladding up front which is both the bumper and the grille. Not really my favorite design but I do like the newer headlights. On the higher trims you can get LED lights but overall the Promaster van has basically stayed relatively close to the same over the years. Under the hood, we have a Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. I'll show you in just a second. But overall, it's a van, a big silhouette with lots of cargo room. And I'll show you the interior in just a little bit. Well, it's kind of hard to see underneath. That's how all vans are nowadays, where everything's just compact and just crammed in there. But that's the engine for the Ram Promaster van, a roughly around 300 horsepower, which is adequate to move this vehicle around. The back of the Pro Master. It's a pretty nice design. Overall, it's very square, so you can maximize your interior volume. I like the lights, they look good. You walk up to the van, you have this big door handle. And the door can swing all the way out. The other door can do exactly the same. Now, you do have a few lights up here, but they're not as good as the Transit vans or even the Chevy Express vans. But you can see a big flat floor, and there is one sliding door, and I'll show you that in just a second. So this is the side of the van with the door open. You can see that there's the ground. So the lift over isn't super big, but there is no step. Other vans have a step for your foot before you get into the vehicle, but you do have tie down points located throughout the whole vehicle, which is nice. Uh, I wish there was more lighting, but what is here is okay, I should say. Not as good as some other places, but getting up into the van, there is a little storage nook up here. You cannot really reach this while you're driving though. The Transit van and other vans, you can reach it while you're driving, there's even more storage. But the interior, now it is a little bit dusty. This is a 2023 model. I do love this steering wheel. Now yes, it's not leather wrapped or anything, but it does feel good in your hands. These buttons here, they actually feel really good. You can see the dash right there. Uh, the middle screen is a digital display. It has pretty good information center screen right here. I like this. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the things you really want and need when you're just driving around, taking things from point A to point B. Easy climate controls, hard touch buttons. They actually feel pretty good. Knobs, buttons. I like having simple things like that instead of having to go through screens only. And then right down here, cup holders, a place to put my phone. You got some USB ports. Storage under the glove box. Oh, I'm sorry, under the airbag, you have another glove box. Plenty of room, and you can see the brand new owner's manual. And there's also a little tiny storage over here with your uh, electronic emergency brake, some blank switches and some lights. But overall, this is a nice layout. Uh, yes, it is cheaper plastics, but this is a van, it's a work van, it's supposed to be like that. Uh, overall, I'd say this is one of my favorite interiors. I'd say the newest Transit Ford van has a little bit nicer interior, but this interior is put together nicely, and overall the van drives smoothly, but let's go for a drive, guys. So here's the key for the ProMaster. It's just a, a simple RAM key, same design that FCA, Chrysler, Dodge have been using for many, many years, but still feels good. Coming up to the door, one big handle that opens it. And then right here is where you fill up your gas. It opens that way for you. You guys can see that there's one big step leading up to the cabin. Getting inside, closing the door. Uh, this is really, really soft. It stands out, which is nice. It is a little bit difficult to get my arm here and grab the steering wheel. Hard touch plastic, simple controls. Now I will say, that's a nice mirror. If I can use it and see it, the problem is this post right here, um, where I sit, because I'm about 5'10", it is a little bit hard. But like I said, here's the overall layout of the dash. Everything does feel pretty nice. Now the start stop button is over there. So foot in the brake. Let's start that up. You can see the cluster come to life, looks good. Overall, I'm pretty pleased. All right, so I waited about a week to film the rest of this video so I have more time with the van. Over a thousand miles I put on it, and overall my thoughts are pretty positive. We'll start with the pros. The pros is the interior. I like the interior. Large, hard touch buttons, a nice touch screen, lots of modern conveniences that some other vans don't have or are lacking a little bit. Now, yes, hard touch plastic, but it's a work van's how it's supposed to be. The seat is comfortable, and I really like that. Other good things about the vehicle is 
plenty of tie down points. And I do like the flat floor. It makes getting things in and out of the vehicle, whether it be with a high low or by hand, a little bit easier. But I do wish there was a step or two uh, in the transit van, stuff like that. You do have a step which helps you get into the vehicle instead of taking this giant jump to get in. But it's not too bad, it's something you could live with. Uh, I wish there was more lights. We're gonna talk about the cons now. Uh, there's only two lights. Uh, other vans offer multiple lights or LED lights or even options for more. Uh, the transit van even has a switch in the back so you can hit a switch and turn lights on and off. You don't have that option here. It would be nice, something you can always do on your own. Uh, I also wish that this van was uh, a little bit more powerful, I'll be honest. Uh, other vehicles in this class have bigger engines or turbos. When you have a naturally aspirated V6 like this paired to the nine speed Chrysler automatic, it's not the best pairing. Uh, the nine speed automatic sometimes has a hard time finding the right gear or downshifting appropriately, uh, but it is a lot better than it used to be years ago. Uh, overall, I would say this is a great van for a light or medium duty use. If you're someone that's in a city or you're only going 50-ish miles in that radius, uh, this would be good for you. But if you're someone that carries heavy things all the time, if you're close to max payload or at max payload regularly, uh, this isn't the van for you. The back can get a little squirrely. It is an old school suspension back there with leaf springs. Uh, if you hit hard, older roads, you will get a little beat up in here. Other vans can handle a little bit better. It is a work van, so all vans are a little choppy, a little loud. But overall, the Ram Pro Master is pretty positive. Uh, for 2023, the exterior has been updated. The tech has been slightly improved, but it's still a pretty good van. It's just not the best van. I've already reviewed a Transit van from 2018. I think I'd still pick that older van, even though it doesn't have the nice tech features and the modern uh, conveniences that I like, just because the power and the overall payload is just a little bit better in my personal opinion. But you guys can let me know. What are your thoughts and opinions all down below? And I'll catch you all in the next one.